energy out there at the beginning, especially. It seemed oh, like, yeah. 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 They, they did a great job. I mean, they got a little tired at the end there, but uh, practiced hard. Uh, guys are working hard. We've had a great spring. It's just a really good culture on the team, you know. It's a, kind of a show up and go get it kind of mentality. It's not, uh, it, it's, it's great to see. First play, 75 yards yeah. from AJ. Yeah. It seems like he has Looked like change. he was shot out of a cannon. Yeah. You yeah. know, it looked really strong and fast. You know, I mean, yeah. It also looks like you're getting the backs involved in the passing game a lot. Yeah. Uh, is that something that, uh, you know, New I know he's bringing to the table a little bit? I mean, it's, you know, it's what we wanted to do, you know. I mean, it's what we wanted to do here. I mean, this is not rocket science, you know, so. Um, yeah, we wanted to involve the backs more. We've been working really hard on third down and we're working on our screen game and just putting a lot of time in those areas right now, which was by design, you know. So, um, yeah, I mean, you know, we're starting to feel the effects of a veteran quarterback, a veteran running back, you know, veteran tight ends. Um, and the line, though, the line has just really played well. And there's a lot being thrown at them right now by the defense. And they're kind of handling it. And, and that's a really good sign. So, you know, those guys are, you know, because we, we lost some guys up front, but we're playing at a pretty high level right now. So I think we're going to be just fine. Is this as sharp as Anthony's looked at this stage of the, of the yeah, season? Yeah, without a doubt. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And he's, he's right on it. You know, I mean, you know, he's, he's going into that, you know, stage of his career. He's got two seasons left. He's got, a, you know, he's, he's been here for three seasons and he's got two left. You know, he should be hitting his stride right now, you know, and, and, and that's what he's doing right now in practice. You can see that, you know, and just trying to put everybody in competitive uh, situations to see how they respond. Coach, just working with fundamentals with these guys, the fact that you get them in the springtime and it's six months yeah. till, the, till the first game, just what are the things that you try to stress the older guys, yeah. their next stage, the younger guys, kind of their first steps? What do you stress there? Well, it's a fundamental game, and, you know, you're building what I call your toolbox along the way. And football uh, takes time to develop that. So, you know, um, we just put a lot of time in spring on those fundamentals at each position. I mean, it's really – not, not today. Today's more of a go-play-it day. But on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we put an awful lot of time in the fundamentals of each position and special teams and kind of build it, you know. And I think, like, our guys will tell you, like, that, like for example, the guys that are back from the combine that, you know, we put a lot of time building the fundamental, physical fundamental toolbox and the mental part of the game. You know, the understanding of, you know, fronts and stunts and blitzes for an offensive guy and defense understanding offensive schemes. And those guys will come back and tell you that they felt really super prepared. They went into the uh, combine interviews and they killed it. You know, they killed it. So I think this is that time of year where that development happens where you're, 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 you're it's constantly, not all programs do that, you know, teaching them the game just fundamentally and also schematically and understanding what they're doing. And in spring, you just have so much of an opportunity to do that because, you know, it's, it's, um, you got a lot of time. And you know, just, you know how, how exciting is it for you to be able to work with those younger guys a little bit more? Because I know when you yeah. get, to the, get to the fall, it's a little it's hard. bit harder to do that. Yeah, you're limited. You don't have the same amount of individual time. You're in game plans. You know, we're not game planning anything. So this is, a, this is the most growth time for a player right now. Um, and you got to cherish it. In a lot of places, they, they, you, know, they, you know, spring gets to be a drag and all this kind of stuff. And I hear coaches talking about it. Here, our guys embrace it because they know. I mean, this is the time to develop and grow. This is where you build that, that foundation. This is it. And you've got you, you to gotta embrace that. Do you see kind of the older guys, too, taking that next step, taking that yeah. next kind of whatever that may be for you to, to move to that next level? Yeah, I mean, for sure. But like I've been saying, you know, I think it has a lot to do with yes, but the, there's a, a position here that's getting older. It's called the quarterback position. And, you know, that, that, that position, it's got to play at a high level. And you've got to have depth that can play at a high level. That's what I mean. It's a big factor. Look around. Look at the teams last year, quarterbacks. You know, you, that position is critical. It touches the ball every down. It's critical. You, know, you just have to have that guy that can, can, can bring you to the next level. And that, that's kind of where we are right now, you know. We lost a lot of guys, but we have guys in the chamber and we're developing them and, 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 and growing them, but you still always need that, that position that has, to, that has to be at a high level to fire at the next level in a conference like ours. I mean, just, you know, think about it, right? Three national champions in the last five years on our side of the division. I mean, so you, you better darn well, you know, be firing at a high level. You want to get to that next echelon? 
you, you know, you got to beat a couple of those people. And, and that's hard to do, as it was evident in the playoff and in the national championship game. So, um, but that position becomes critical for us. And, and right now, I think our, our, our Anthony's playing at a high level. You can see his growth. And the other guys, EJ and all those guys, are, are developing and growing at a good rate. Because you've got to have depth. You've got to have depth. I mean, even Clemson looked different when, when the starter went down, right? I mean, Syracuse played them, and they didn't have the quarterback. Then you saw uh, the Notre Dame game. They didn't, you know, uh, they didn't have their, uh, uh, Syracuse didn't have their quarterback, you know. Those are, those are big losses. Like when we lost ours uh, six plays, seven plays into the Clemson game. I mean, it, it makes a huge difference. So get that guy playing at a high level, keep him healthy, you know, which is a little bit of good fortune, and, and you roll.